In this video, I want to, uh, in a short period of time, hopefully, uh, walk through uh, in Microsoft Access uh, in a new database and a couple I've set up already, uh, how you will uh, create a, a switchboard manager uh, to uh, control somebody's uh, process of input and generating a report for distribution um, uh, through this system. Uh, first I need to open a source of uh, information to be added at one point but anyway uh, now let's move on so in a, a fresh new um, database uh, you have the switchboard manager under the database tools <clears throat> uh, you just say yes to this there isn't one uh, currently there so you create one and here it is <clears throat> uh, here you would uh, get our table one. I'm just going to close and then we come here and uh, go to the design view. What we want to do is um, you have tabs over here because I've done this before it came up as other but this pop-up we want to change that pop-up to yes and then we can save. I'm going to close it. Um, the next thing we want to do, I'm coming here, we want to have it maximized to the, the full screen. And so, I want to get back in here. Oop, that's what we want it to look like. <laughs> I'm going to close this table because we open a new one. Design view on load we need to find that's under format format oh I should have found this before sorry um, it's in a different location now with this one other Are you seeing it here <laughs> um, upon Open. Is that where I ended up putting it? Embedded macro. Close. Unopen. Unopen. There it is. And a macro. Is it a procedure? What are they doing? Anyway, uh, follow this through. I don't know why it's giving me a hard time. We want to do a code builder in there. And uh, this thing will open up. And then you just simply copy and paste this uh, into there. Um, and then save it and close everything. Uh, then when you uh, open... Otherwise, it comes up like this. So anyway, that that would get it to that point. I didn't practice uh, regenerating that, but uh, here we are. So save it, uh, close it. So then, when you after you do that, this pops up like this. So it floats around, so you can do other things with it. Okay. So uh, for now, I'm going to leave that alone. The other thing that you can do ultimately when you've uh, added several things to your switchboard, you can see I've got the workflow here, can all be organized. Um, you can uh, come in here to access options and then under current database you can uncheck the display status bar. Um, a couple of other ones. Enable layout view, uncheck that, enable design chains. Uh, so when you uncheck these um, and then close the, the database, the next time it's open, when the database is, say, sitting on somebody's de desktop, uh, here I've got it called minimal, you open it like that, it comes up automatically to the, uh, the main switchboard. I 
you got to remember how to set it up so it comes up like that. But anyway, you set it up so that that comes up automatically. Um, and then people can't see anything else. So the users, uh, this option here is just probably because it's 2007. Um, so the functions we would do is we'd add new data. I changed these a little bit um, in the other version there. But anyway, um, it's just a way of making those changes on an archive version. And then you save it again under another name. And then you'd set it like this for the user. Um, <clears throat> And so the user can't change any of your tables, can only follow these procedures here to accomplish the, the tasks that you uh, have. So this is my most recent one. You can see them over here anyway. Um, so add data to table one. So here's table one. I've been putting a lot of things in here uh, <coughs> for the time out, time delivered. This is what we want to track. Uh, with this particular table, the name could be changed uh, so that that would be more uh, appropriate. So we want to add new data to that. That's this uh, Excel spreadsheet that we had. I've already selected it. And select what you want. Copy it. And then um, here is the uh, paste. Paste append and prompt you. It's possible that would even be included over here but um, again in that other version where it's limited they have the paste there as well so they still would be able to do that it, most everybody should be familiar with pasting new things into a, what looks like a spreadsheet if all that we've ever done is spreadsheets but anyway uh, we can close that that saves it uh, add text to attracting for tracking form <clears throat> so this is doing table three I uh, set up table three uh, these are all new entries that I'd put in there. I used a standard one for um, for one of the, the templates to, to create a table that was uh, had all these things on it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, <clears throat> uh, whatever needs to be here. The interesting thing with this is uh, um, when I uh, go to the design view on here, it's currently open, but anyway, um, I added in scheduler there, added in a field there, didn't do anything with it. But uh, on this, you can come to lookup, um, and it's uh, set as a list box. Okay, well, let me change it, but anyway, um, and then uh, it's table and query that we do for the source type, and then I just told it where to look, and it's going to. Um, I told it to go and look at the, the table one, right? So this is pulling in uh, from table one, uh, this information here, the names of the schedulers. So when you just added new data here and you want to bring it in to add something about that entry into table three that will end up in your report, uh, it lets you choose that. You see that when you're filling it in. So uh, let me close this. Let me close this. So in here you see the names. Um, this is uh, set up um, in this form so that they can only, uh, that they um, uh, cannot edit it. So if I go here to the, and this is why you don't want the, uh, well, it doesn't do anything unless you put something in here anyway. <laughs> um, uh, go to the design view. I can just, that's the nice thing about having this float under allow edits, let's see, all, um, somewhere here it says allow edits and I, data entry, allow additions, allow edits, I just changed this to no, it's a yes no box here changed it to no that way they can't change any current records they're only coming in here and inputting new information into this table okay so that's the tracking form i can close that from there even though i was doing all those other things so i can come back here bring it up this allows me to search uh, if you know the name you're after it's already in the list p uh, can you go? <laughs> yeah, there you go. You can scroll down. There. All the names are in there several times. You can scroll as well, up and down. Anyway, um, 
Notice it's not showing any prior record. If you didn't have it set the way I just did with no edits, it would allow them to see the other records and scroll up and down and edit them. Anyway, the idea is that from the new information you brought in here, whoever the schedules schedulers were, whether it was same names or new names, uh, that would be on this list here. Just have to make sure people do this properly. If that information has to come from the table one that was just uh, uh, amended, Appended, I guess was the term. Um, and then, of course, set up whatever is here. These are some pull down boxes that were in default the status, active, resolved, closed, category, uh, things like that. Those can all be edited under the properties as well. Uh, these are just words uh, in the uh, editing. Uh, we can see, let's see, design view. I like stuff in there. <laughs> you don't have to worry about saving it. As soon as you put in a new record, it's saved automatically. Um, so, let's see, when we, whatever, when you, when you get these to the, what was that view we had? Anyway, um, Gosh, getting back to the same things. Where was it? <laughs> but uh, these can be set up uh, so that you determine what text is in there. Anyway, I didn't practice that either. So <laughs> close the tracking form. Do you want to save? I'm not going to save this just because I had done that. Uh, so that was putting in any text type of stuff for that. Um, then I've got a report set up a swash report as I call it here uh, if you go to the edit on this I may not have it set up perfectly well I just dragged and dropped things in from over there uh, we've got the, the a query that I had set up uh, on table one let's see the design on that that's the one that I'd shown before uh, it was the uh, um, information from the it's showing it in a weird view, but anyway, um, we pulling it from table one as you can see here. Uh, we're pulling down uh, time out and this. Um, I've came down here, did the totals. Once you got that added, group by that, select the last on this one with the pull down, last there. This is the expression, this is the formula that we put in. Uh, time difference. This is just the title of the the column that you're choosing here in minutes, and then the AVG means average. And open parentheses, open parentheses, open parentheses, open parentheses, open square bracket, delivered referring to there, close square bracket, minus open square bracket, refer to this, close, uh, close uh, parentheses, star 24 times 24. All right, 24 hours a day. Uh, close parentheses, star 60, uh, 60 minutes per hour, right? <laughs> and then close parentheses. Uh, so that that's the query that we pulled into the uh, report. Okay. So when we bring the report to the report view here, we see that information. I don't like that it shows it like that. But anyway, there's other ways of touching that up. Uh, and then this is in the report as well. Uh, so that comes up with preview report. You can close it and then um, save it to a file. Right? And choose the type of file and do a PDF. I've done this already. And it's... Uh, uh, i put it in another... Anyway, uh, let me do it. PDF, okay. I'll put it in there where we got a folder open. So it's saved. And there's the swash report. Again, setting it up how it gets into all of these the way you want it. This can be emailed. Uh, the, in order to email directly from uh, From here, and you can set it up. You could set it up on here as well as a um, a button. Uh, you have to have uh, the local um, 
outlook. 